So, you've downloaded the Move Like This backing track and chord sheet and you want to give it a go of your band so you can play the song on your church, your student work or youth group. How do you physically play along to a backing track? Well, there are loads and loads of different ways of doing it, but we're going to show you the cheapest and simplest way so anyone can do this, even your mum. So there are three things you're going to need. Number one, something to play the track from. You could use a laptop running iTunes, an MP3 player or even your iPhone, but you need to be able to hit play easily. Laptop is often a win, so you just need to hit the space bar. Number two, your drummer needs in-ear monitoring. So not just a fold-back wedge on the floor, but headphones. Why is this? Well, playing the backing track from your laptop, that's the simple bit. But what's very important is that as a band, you keep in time with the backing track. If you lose your place in the track or come out of sync with it in some way, you're heading towards a very ugly musical train wreck. You don't want that. The people don't want that. Jesus doesn't want that. Okay, I can't really say that because I'm not God. Jesus cares more about your hearts anyway. But making sure you're playing in sync with the track is very key to pulling this off live. So what's the solution? Instead of sending the track down left and right from your iTunes or whatever you're going to use, we just send it down one of the channels, say left. Then on the right channel, we send the click track. That's bang on in time with the track for the drummer to play along to. That way you can send the track to the PA guy at the back and the click track to the drummer, and you can be sure, as long as the drummer is playing to that click, you're bang on in time with the track. No musical train crashes around here. Makes sense? It's simple and it works, but the drummer does need in-ear monitoring to make it work. So number one, you've got your laptop, whatever you're gonna use to trigger the track. Number two, your drummer's all set within ear. Number three, you need a cable that will split the left-right from your laptop. Now it needs to have a headphone jack one end, this will go into the laptop headphone socket or iPod, whatever you're going to use, just like normal headphones. But the other end, it splits to two normal jacks, just like the type you plug into your guitar. One of these will be the track, which you can plug into a DI box for the PA guy. The other one will be a click for the drummer, which you can plug into another DI box for the PA guy to send back to the drummer's in-ears. So, you have the backing track coming out of the PA. You have the drummer with a click track, which is bang on with the track. Time to move like this. You can buy these cables from Amazon for as cheap as like £2.29, so it's really is cheap. But wait, what if your church doesn't have an inner system, I hear you say? No worries, there's a simple workaround. All you need is a headphone splitter. You can get these from Amazon for like a quid. Instead of splitting to two jacks, it splits to two headphone inputs. One of the inputs, the drummer, just plugs his headphones into direct, sorted. The other one is the track, and you need to get a cable, which is a headphone input that goes into that, and the other end, normal jack input to go into a DI box. Simple, sorted. So you have your laptop ready to send out the track and click. You've got your cable splitter with a track left, click right. All you need to do is get the drummer to play in time with the click. Voila. As I said earlier, this is one way of doing it, which is the simplest and cheapest. The negative side of this means you only get mono tracks, not stereo. If you're more tech savvy, you've got some more gear, you can run it from your laptop having an audio interface, sending the tracks to stereo, then another line for the click. You can trigger this from Logic, um, just make sure you've got all the outputs that are going down the correct lines and stuff. We've started using some software called Ableton Live, which is built for triggering all kinds of clips and tracks in a live environment. But we'll leave that with you. For now, the simplest way is to send the track mono down one side, the click down the other side, and Bob's your uncle. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions or things that you've done that have worked, do post your comments below and enjoy the track.